Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to your extended My Name is Jane. So if you haven't seen this morning's reading, I would go ahead and look at that because uh, there's a lot of truths in there. Um, I also got a download from them waking up on a Saturday morning about um, this in particular for you Pisces. Um, it's about trying to control the outcome of things. And you know that has to do with a sense of control in your life. It has still to do with the root chakra. I know we've done some work on it, but it's so very... It's Sometimes we see things as a, a good thing, like planning and organizing things. We see it as a good thing. But it's something hidden within us that is... Um, it's actually a hindrance. It's actually an... It's, it's you not trusting yourself to be in the now and always feeling the sense to plan things way ahead of time to kind of um, meet the curve of things to make sure that you do not fail or that the chances of failing are minimal and this is really talking about being more in the flow of things letting things fall where they may taking a moment to smell the roses and seeing what's really coming in and um, I really felt that today and in the comment you're robbing yourself of the joys by trying to overplan your tomorrows. Wow, it's pretty. It's pretty profound. Somebody should write that down. Put it on a plaque. <laughs> All right. So this is a vulnerability, right? Oh, so perfect. Okay. Vulnerability is the thing that we're trying to avoid at all cost here. So this is going to be a great extended Pisces. Okay, I can already tell you that. So, this is a confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. And that's exactly, this is it. This is a card, this is why they told me to get this deck today. Okay, this is it. When you cannot plan, everything that you're doing it leaves you feeling oh so vulnerable and 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 feeling that you're gonna you may fall on your face and if you happen to fall on your face for something that you're doing you're gonna right away blame that you were not prepared I wasn't prepared I should have planned it more I should have looked ahead instead of goofing off and enjoying and smelling the flowers I could have prevented this okay this is what you need to get out of you we're going to have to really take a moment be to enjoy your life right now, Pisces, in every stage that you're going into. There's so much out there to be unhappy about. You don't want to add to it at all. You don't want to add to it. You want to take the moment, be vulnerable, stay in that vulnerability, okay? Um, like I said, I added a moderator because I felt as myself, just being alone, I felt, oh, I'm not strong enough to put up with this, the, the, the hate and the negativity. And I had to decide that I was just vulnerable to it. My energies were vulnerable to people's negative energies. And I had to reach out and say, please help me. And I got help. Okay? It's okay to be vulnerable. Everything is okay for you to do. There's no wrong or right. This is your life. Okay, if you step in a big pile of dung, maybe there was something there for you to look at. Maybe under the dung was a million dollars. Who knows? <laughs> or Mr. Wright or Mrs. Wright. Let's hope not. That would be kind of scary. But you understand what I'm saying, right, Pisces? Okay. So, let's go on. Um, do you, no, okay. Let's take a card. Let's, let's clarify all these cards up here. The Nine of... The Knight of Swords... Um, reversed. All of these today in this clarity spread made me feel like we were trying to avoid. This is like, um, when they're reversed for me, it's like the emotion or the the sense of the card is kind of subdued. You know, it's not as strong. So we're trying to, we're not really looking that every opportunity is something to learn. Okay? It's a it's something to really open up our hearts. We're just planning the next thing. So we're missing the the multiple things that happen in a new start. 
okay? Like, yay, this is a new start. We're just planning the next step instead of really going, wow, I'm here, just like I did last year when I started here. Instead of going, wow, I'm finally living what I want to do, I was just concentrating on putting more readings and more readings and more readings and studying and, and meditating and hitting spirit, and that was all fine. But part of me missed some of the moments of, I'm here, okay? And a lot of you will say, yeah, but you had, you know, you had stuff to do. You can still get stuff done while really enjoying the moment. If you don't, you're going to reverse this card. You're going to miss, you're going to miss the great that comes in with it. Okay, so I'm going to look for Nine of Swords, right? Okay. So you have the Ace of Wands that came in with the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is like ignoring the anxiety that this is causing you. With the Ace of Wands, by ign kind of ignoring the fact that you're feeling a little bit anxious about something, but you're putting it aside, this is taking room for that little one that could come in, that little inspired burst of creative energy because you are still worried about something, so that's still taking up maybe 0 0.05 of your capacity of energy. That could be taken up by this, but it's not. Because you're thinking that you're all clear and that you're doing it, and you're just planning for the future, but while you're busy planning, you're missing the inspired thought. And the initial stages and that's what I was talking about here as well this is another ace you're missing the innate initial stages of that moment of yay okay so let's see what we get for the two of wands as a clarifier <laughs> the ace of swords there you go the two of wands the, the ace of swords with the two of wands is because when you're planning is what you're actually doing is you're trying to get a clear clarity on something. You know, you want to get the breakthrough. You want to see the moment of, of this is going to work. It's going to be 100% successful. That's what we're looking for. We're looking that, to that no-fail moment of clarity. And you can plan, I'll tell you right now, you can plan for the best and sometimes you'll succeed and you don't know where that came from. And sometimes you will fail and you won't know where that came from. Okay, so you have to allow life to deal you some stuff one way or another. Let's get clarification on the lovers. The lovers was good, but it was the card that I felt the less connected to today. Um, I don't know if that was on purpose, but I feel that it's you have to trust. It's... They're telling me it's more to do with this being in the flow card with the lovers. With the chariot being, it's, you are at the helm, but there's a lot going on. You may feel by planning your future that you're actually going in the direction of your dreams, but you're actually stopping the harmony from happening. You're preventing a lot of what would happen in the now, from moving forward. it's It sounds a little odd the way I'm putting it, but by you pushing forward past everything, not looking at and enjoying everything, you're actually just still at a standstill here with the chariot. Nobody's moving. People are looking in all different directions on this card, and you're not actually just focusing on this harmony or being in the present moment in the flow of now okay this they're telling me will actually hinder relationships as well because if you're in a relationship with somebody who is very typically always moving in a direction of movement you know of always going i'm planning for the next thing uh, a lot of these people don't take some time to focus on their relationships because they're always busy planning something. So if you're that person, if you are that person always planning, the people around you who love you, they might have to, um, they're actually not getting anything from this. They're just seeing you always on the move, always unavailable, okay? 
fate. And that is definitely the Knight of Swords. That's always hopping on the bike, you know, and just going. Just go, 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 go. And you feel with the King of Cups that, and I'm not saying that this is not you, you have an immensely beautiful heart, but who are you showing it to? Okay? What you're doing here is you're trying to show people that you are like, you know, you're Zen and you're emotionally all good. You're trying to find that emotional stability in an ocean of crazy and showing everybody that you've got it. Okay? You've got it together because you're a planner. Right? You're an organizer. You know how to do things. Right? So this is externally what you're showing. Look at all these aces. Look at this. And these aces are telling me they're they're telling me that you're always looking for the next thing, the new thing. Okay? I'm done with this thing. Whew, new thing. Always the new thing. You never sit there in the completeness of what you've accomplished. Grab a breath. Get a breath and 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 just and and just let it I don't know, sit with you for a minute before you jump into the next thing. Okay, so I'm going to get a clarify for the Ace of Cups. Knight of Swords. Here we go again. Yeah, missing. Missing. And the reason this Ace of Cups compared to these is upside down. The Ace of Cups, you know why? It's a renewable energy. But it's also... Uh, um, it's also that kind of energy that has spiritual growth. And I feel that you're missing the spiritual growth of this fresh start by it being this way. And it's our card in cups. So we're missing the point of sitting in our heart space, sitting in our emotional space. It's, it's being reduced somehow. The beginnings, we're not enjoying the beginning, the Ace of Cups, which is ours, our cups. This is cups, Pisces is cups, okay? We're not taking the time to really sit in the energy that is part of us. We're just moving on to the next thing. We're just, whoosh, I'm going, okay? I've got somewhere to go. I've got things to do. You know, I have to be a success. Things have to go. I have control over the situation. The Ten of Wands, again. The Ten of Wands, especially in this one, is moving on. We have the judgment in reverse, okay? Refusing to see the truth and moving on. Okay? So this is you. You're refusing to see it. You're refusing to make the change. Review it in a way that... You, not reviewing what you did wrong or right, but reviewing that you're not sitting in your energy at all. You think you're reviewing, but you're quickly perusing. That was good, that was good, that was good. Okay, now I can change it. Now we're going to look towards the future. You never gave yourself a breath of air. Very important. Okay. Okay, what came in is the sun reversed. Now, with the five of pentacles, it's, it's, they're, they're bringing in all the reverses together. It's hiding the fact, this stuff that you're doing to keep yourself busy may be hiding the fact that you feel kind of alone. This came through right away. Okay? And why I say hiding the fact, it's because the sun is clarity. The sun is shining the light. So you're diffusing. This is all diffused energy. You're diffusing the fact, okay, the clear moment, that you may be feeling this way sometimes. Because to sit in a moment... You might have to admit to yourself sometimes that your success isn't really doing it for you. This is very profound, Pisces. I'm going to tell you that. And you know why they want you to sit with that and be vulnerable in this emotion? Do you know why? Because they want you to look at your life and really make sure that where you're going is where you really want to go. And not just something that you've been conditioned to follow, even just by yourself that you've been telling yourself this for years, that this is where you want to go. Because when you finally stop and say, I succeeded, I'm going to smell the roses, even if it's halfway through the journey, the beginning of the journey, wherever you're at, of this particular goal, you may realize, oh, I, I don't feel so good about this anymore. And then you're going to have to look at your life. And some of us are very scared to shine the light of truth on it and see if it's really making us happy. 
or that suddenly we have to change. It's a very scary thing. This is the most truthful two cards in this reading. That's the trigger. That's the thing you don't want to look at right here. This is what Spirit is saying. Okay? And don't feel bad. They're also saying that maybe when you stop and look at things and you're going to realize that, God, this is not making me happy right now. It's not that they want you to change your entire life. They just want you to take a closer look. There may be a few aspects of these things that you don't like that you are able to change. But you have to sit in that discomfort. Okay? You have to, you have to sit in that little isolating of, God, this is not what I want. Okay? Too busy rushing towards the next thing. Okay, so this is the important part. This is, although it's all important, because this one is a lot. This is spirit infused to the max, as I like to call it. But this is the spirit intervention, the spirit advice, if you will. So for the Seven of Cups, let's see here. What do I have here for the Seven of Cups? Woo, two came out. All right, so, right. You get the Two of Wands again coming out, but you have the Six of Wands. So they say there's a way to plan to victory. And the thing about it is, Pisces, is to not always be looking or wondering what's in the next cup. Okay, this is a diversion. It's a diversion for you to not look at where you are. They really want you to look at the cup that you're in because it may be the snake, it may be this one. Okay, the fact that you're looking at other cups while you're trying to fill the one you have may be an indication that you're not where you want to be. So you should stop looking at other cups and really look at the one you've got, the choice that you've made, and really discern and take the time to figure out and be vulnerable with that cup and admit some real truth truths to yourself before you jump into the other one say well what's the difference James what's the difference of just jumping into another cup the difference is is that you're not admitting to yourself that you made a choice that maybe wasn't for you so you're going to be repeating the same thing over and over again until you sit with the um, with the reality that you realize that this is not for you wow I thought this was going to make me happy and it's not what, what do I have to do here? We'll stop you, we'll make you really think of your choices and where you want to go in the future. And it's not repeating the same thing over and over again. Because we tend to do that. We tend to repeat the same thing over and over again. The Nine of Cups, now ultimately. It's to look at your blessings. It's to look at what you want for you. A lot of it has to do with intuition. And intuition, you have to sit and let that intuition marinate with you. You have to actually sit quietly and listen to it instead of rushing ahead. And this is the Nine of Cups. So this is your personal wishes and blessings. The problem with some of this, Pisces, is that some of these wishes and blessings are not personally to you. We do have the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, for me, sometimes has a negative in connotation. It's like we take people into consideration when we're trying to make our wishes come true. We're trying to make their wishes come true as well. This isn't about them. This is about you. It's about your personal journey, your personal moment. You can work towards things that will bring ha happiness and harmony and blessings to the people that you love. But ultimately, you have to start with yourself. As I said, if you're not happy within you, people around you are not going to be happy either because you're going to be, you're going to be projecting that energy out. So you have to start with the me and then go out to them, okay? All right, so the judgment card, the outcome of this, Pisces. Hmm. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night of <laughs> progress that you can get. They've actually brought him upside down. So that's saying you need to slow down even more. Unbelievably enough. I can't believe that. I don't think I've ever had him uh, in reverse. But this is telling you that there's 
while you think that you're doing the judgment card, that you're, you know, looking at things, you're reviewing things, changing and releasing them, this is saying that you have to look at the moment too. Don't just look at what you're planning in your future. Look at what's happening right now and do this. So it's a, even a step slower than what you were doing. You're not just planning on, um, you know, it's, it's, let me see, I usually do clutter things. Um, you're, it's not just planning the declutter of the next room. It's actually to sit in the mess of the room that you have now that you are decluttering and realizing that the stuff that you're keeping maybe is nothing that you actually want, that you end up with a completely empty room to put new things in, okay? Instead of planning the next room that you're decluttering, actually take the time to realize what you kept in this room, what you decluttered and actually kept, is it still serving the purpose? Is this room could still, can this room still be like a, a, a storage room or do you want to make it into an art room? Okay? This is what they're asking you to do. Look at what's there. You're just rushing too much at this point. Okay? I hope that is a lot clearer than, um, I hope that this is clear. Right. So, remember, you have the magic. The magician is underneath the deck. This is all about applying power to your goals. Again, this is what you're not, this is what you're not really looking at. I've realized that the, the underneath the cards is what, the stuff that you should be looking at that you're not. Okay? You have personal power and you have the power of intention. You can put your will and you can make your actions into wishes. But you need to really figure out what those are. So you need to sit within that energy with the queen. And you need to realize your personal power of manifesting what you want. So that has to do with vulnerability. It has to be being with the flow. It's about accepting what is. And part of that is that maybe you're going to smell that flower and realize, I never really liked roses. Okay? So this it's as simple as that. Maybe you think you wanted rose gardens, but maybe... The smell of them just doesn't do anything for you. Maybe you prefer peonies. Maybe you prefer daisies. Okay? So, figure out what you need to do and do it in the now. Take the time to stop moving so fast and trying to control the success or failure rate of everything. And figure out if you've succeeded or failed in the right now. Wow, that was good. Write that down, you guys. You guys got to write that down. <laughs> I'm going to have to listen to all of these, put them in a book, and then, and then publish it, you guys. Because I don't remember any of these, okay? I just send it out to you, and there it goes. Take care, Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. This has been your reading for Monday. A very good one, a very profound one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have great messages today. Take care of yourself. I will see you tomorrow.